Hey guys, Meredith with Extreme Terrain, and in this episode of Throttle Out, we're taking a look at my top five picks for mods under $500 if you're looking to build your JK on a budget. So whether you've just bought your Jeep and you don't have a lot of extra cash to spend on parts, or you've had it for a while and are looking for some affordable modifications, then you clicked on the right video. I chose five different parts, all under $500, ranging from armor to recovery and even suspension. Now before we hop into the rest of the video, make sure that you like and subscribe for other cool content like this, as well as other product install videos. Now with that being said, let's jump into our first mod. The first mod that we're going to be taking a look at is the Mammoth 2 inch front and 1 inch rear leveling kit with end links. Now a lot of the time when you get your hands on your first Jeep, the first thing that you think about is lifting it and adding bigger wheels and tires. Now a very affordable way to do that is a spacer lift and this one in particular by Mammoth will cost right around the $100 mark, making it an incredibly cost effective way to get some added height on your Wrangler. Now one of the top reasons that I chose this is because this lift kit is going to give you a little bit of extra performance while also creating a more defined stance out of your rig. Now as it says in the name, this is going to give you two inches of lift in the front and one inch of lift in the rear and is going to come with sway bar end links to accommodate for that added height. Now what I really like about this is the fact that it's a very simple leveling kit. It's not going to require any modification or a crazy install and it's still going to give you some decent height. This leveling kit will open up more room inside the wheel well area for bigger wheels and tires if you choose to do that in the future or even if you're just doing some lighter trails and want some more room for better articulation while you're off-roading. These spacers will install right on top of your coil springs and increase your ground clearance while also accommodating up to a 33 inch tire. Now lift kits can get very expensive, but with this you're getting some of those key benefits out of a lift without spending a whole ton of money and doing a whole lot of modification. So if you don't want a super aggressive lift kit and you don't want to do any modification to your Jeep, you're just looking for a better stance at a very affordable price, then this is going to be a great option. The next mod that we're going to be taking a look at is the Barricade Trail Force HD Rear Bumper. Now bumpers do a really good job at creating a heavy duty and off-road appearance to your Jeep while also adding a ton of functionality. Now this bumper specifically will keep it on the affordable side while still having a lot to offer out of a rear bumper setup at around $350. Now this will come with a heavy duty steel construction that will provide a lot of rear end protection, which is great if you plan on taking your Jeep off-road and want some extra insurance for your rear end of your Wrangler. Now we'll also come with welded D-ring mounts and D-rings if you and a friend get stuck in the mud and you want to keep a peace of mind knowing that you have a solid rear recovery point. What I also like about this is that it will accommodate for future modifications. Now jumping back to the topic of bigger wheels and tires, this bumper is also going to have a larger cutout than the factory rear bumper, which will allow for a larger spare accommodating up to a 35 inch tire mounted on the back of the Jeep. Another noted feature about this rear bumper is the two inch hitch receiver that's mounted right on the back that you can use for any hitch mounted accessories or even some small towing. Now without splurging on things like additional lighting on the back or even a tire carrier, this barricade option gives you a ton of practical features while also giving the rear end of your Jeep a very rugged look while also keeping it on a budget. Moving around the Jeep over on the side is my next choice. Here I have the Barricade Extreme HD rocker steps installed and just like the rear bumper this is going to be very affordable while also adding a lot of protection and functionality right around that $350 mark. Now getting in and out of your Jeep can be difficult especially if you add a lift kit and these side steps are going to give you better accessibility in and out of your cab area while also giving you a lot of protection to the side. Now these are going to have a large step on the front as well as the back giving you and your passengers very easy access to your cab area as well as any other roof mounted accessories or even just better access for taking off and putting on your freedom panels. Now the rocker area or the pinch weld area on the Jeep is one of the most vulnerable spots because of the breakover angle. So when you take your Jeep off road, these are going to have a heavy duty construction to protect that made of a heavy duty steel tube and plate construction to prevent any damage and 
of course, they're gonna come in a texture black powder coat finish to match any other heavy duty accessories like the back bumper and they're also going to help you achieve a heavy duty and off-road look. My next choice goes out to the Barricade Adventure HD front bumper. Now, bumpers are a very popular modification and a lot of them are usually very affordable while also providing a lot of benefits in the meantime. Not to mention usually when you're upgrading your rear bumper, a lot of people also upgrade the front bumper as well and vice versa to create a very clean and complete look. Again, you're getting a lot of functionality and an aggressive look and it's going to go very well with any other HD accessories that you already have on your Jeep. And I personally think it goes very well with the other Barricade products. Now with this theme of the video, we are going to be on the more affordable side for the front bumper at about $350. Now within that price point, this is going to offer a lot of functionality for the front. What I do like about the bumper build in particular is that it's going to be a mid-width front bumper, providing some protection to the front of your tires while allowing some extra clearance on the sides. This mid-width front bumper will be a little bit more compact as well compared to some other choices and will have angled up ends on this side, which will allow some better clearance, better approach angles while you're climbing over obstacles, especially with larger wheels and tires. Additionally, this will offer a bull bar up front with reinforcements for some grill protection, as well the D-ring mounts on the front if you ever need a recovery point while you're out on the trail, as well as light mounting options and the ability to mount up a winch. Now, speaking of that winch mount, this is going to lead us right into our next mod. My last pick goes out to the Smittybilt Gen 2 XRC 9,500 pound winch. Now, my biggest thing is that you could have all of the modifications in the world, but when you're stuck, you are stuck. And it's always a great idea to have a winch or some recovery, regardless if you're taking your Jeep off-road all the time or just once in a while. Now, it can be a lifesaver while you're out on the trail or in the woods by yourself or even when you're with somebody else. Now, winches can also get very pricey depending on the pulling capacity, the type of line, and the extra bells and whistles that are included in the kit. However, this winch in specific is going to keep it on the simple side while also having a very quality build. This will have a 9,500 pound pulling capacity, a steel cable line, a three-stage planetary gear system with a 6.6 .6 horsepower wound motor, and it's going to have a wired remote with a 12-foot lead for safe distance winching. In comparison to other winches, this sticks to the basics with a steel line over a synthetic line or a wireless remote instead of the wired one that we have here, keeping it very affordable around the $400 mark. However, most of the time you don't necessarily need all the extra bells and whistles to get the job done. Now, if you are looking to keep it affordable when it comes to recovery and want the extra confidence that you have a winch on your side, just in case, this is going to be a great choice. So that is going to be a wrap for this video. Tell me what you guys think of my choices for the top five mods under $500 or what you would choose for your Wrangler while also sticking on a budget. Also, again, make sure that you like and subscribe for other cool content like this, and always keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.